हेलो एवरीवन चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड अल्कोहोल फिनॉल्स एंड ईथर इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द क्लासिफिकेशंस ऑफ अल्कोहल दैट इज प्राइमरी अल्कोहल सेकेंडरी अल्कोहल एंड टर्शरी अल्कोहल आफ्टर दैट वी फोकस ऑन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बेंजिलिक एंड अलिलिक अल्कोहल दैट मीन्स प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शरी अल्कोहल up to this we cover in previous lecture today we will start the remaining part of alcohol that is structure and shape this is a structure of methanol that means this is ch3oh here is carbon here is hydrogen is front side and here this is the back side and this is is in the plane here carbon here oxygen here hydrogen and here this oxygen divalent oxygen containing here lone pair okay and in alcohol the carbon and oxygen that means this carbon and this oxygen are sp3 hybridized state uh, they have four sp3 hybrid orbitals of oxygen and they are not similar out of which two have a one electron each and other to have a pair of electrons each pair of electrons each and the two completely filled sp3 orbitals they do not take part in bond formation that means this one not take part in the bond formation that means they are called as a non bonded not take part in the bond formation while the other two half filled sp3 orbitals of oxygen uh, form bonds with the s orbitals and the formation of the oh bond this oh bond and the sp3 orbitals of carbon of the alkyl group they form this co bond that means there is formation of this sigma bond here the carbon oxygen hydrogen having the bond angle is 1089 degree which is a slightly less than the normal tetrahedral angle is about 10928 minutes uh, this is due to the presence of two unshared presence of the two unshared and completely filled orbitals of oxygen which repel to each other hence reduce the bond angle to the presence of here why the bond angle is decreases the bond angle is decreases due to the oxygen containing these two lone pair and this lone pair they are repelled to each other due to this repulsion the bond angle will be decreases this is about the structure and the shape of alcohol next isomerization how will you define the isomerization isomerization it is nothing but the compound having same molecular formula but different structural arrangement is called isomers and such a phenomenon is called as the isomerization here the alcohol exhibit the following types of the isomerization number 1 chain isomerism chain isomerism it is a phenomenon in which compound having same molecular formula but exhibit the different arrangement in chain for example n butanol and isobutyl alcohol here both the compound having same molecular formula but the arrangement of the chain is different that means this is a straight chain compound and this is a branch compound branch chain compound that means same molecular formula but different arrangement in their chain next position isomerism in position isomerism it is an example of the structural isomerism it occurs Uh, in a functional group is different position on the same carbon chain that means for example this is a propyl alcohol and this is isopropyl alcohol in propyl alcohol oh that means this hydroxyl group that is alcohol it is joined to this primary carbon atom while in second example this oh that means alcohol this part hydroxyl is joined to the a secondary carbon atom that means the same functional groups but the 
a different position that means here it is attached to the primary carbon atom here it is attached to the a secondary carbon atom it is called as the position isomerism next functional isomerism functional isomerism it occurs when substance have the same molecular formula but a different functional groups for example this is a ethyl alcohol and this is a dimethyl ether both having the same molecular formula but here the functional group is different here the functional group is alcohol while the here functional group is ether that means uh, such arrangement is called as the functional isomerism general method for the preparation of alcohol alcohol is a prepared by various method in which by grignard synthesis then ester hydrolysis number third reduction of aldehyde ketone acid and ester we discuss one by one first grignard synthesis grignard synthesis is the most important method for preparing the alcohol here the aldehyde ketone it undergo the addition reaction of grignard reagent and the product on hydrolysis yield the corresponding alcohol that means we can use aldehyde and ketone first it undergo the addition reaction and then hydrolysis we get the corresponding alcohol that means this is a two step the first step is the addition of grignard reagent and second step is is hydrolysis actual mechanism or uh, the first step of the reaction is the nucleophilic addition of grignard reagents here r c double bond o here r dash h that means it may be the aldehyde or ketone plus r m g x that means the grignard reagent or it is also called as the alkyl magnesium halide the alkyl magnesium halide it is nothing but the grignard reagents here r double dash is not equal to hydrogen and in presence of a dry ether here we see the mechanism a nucleophilic addition that means this is r this is delta minus this is delta plus this is the attack on a carbonyl now then this double bond will be shipped it become o minus and this o minus and this mg they will be the form the complex and such a complex is called as the mg complex and this complex will be formed that means this r c r dash r double dash here o mgx is called as the mg complex and this mg complex is simple work up by using dilute hcl h plus or hydrolysis we use the water molecule h2o here oh this oh and this mgx it will be removed or the form the by product here mgx oh this is the by product and finally we get the alcohol alcohol as a final product okay and we can use a different types of the series hydrogen methyl ethyl next grignard reagent it act as a nucleophile toward the carbonyl group here this is the structure of ketone and here r mgx r mgx first step is a nucleophilic addition that means uh, this will be attack on this carbonyl it become o minus now then this o minus and this mg it form the complex and next step is hydrolysis to hydrolysis we get the alcohol that means the it is a two step sequence gives an alcohol as the isolated product 
first step is the addition of nucleophile and second step is the hydrolysis friends the grignard reagents reacts with the formaldehyde to give primary alcohol if the grignard reagent reacts with the aldehyde to give secondary alcohol if grignard reagents reacts with the ketone we get the tertiary alcohol and lastly if it is reacts with the ester to gives tertiary alcohol we discuss one by one first formaldehyde to give primary alcohol that means grignard reagents reacts with the formaldehyde to give primary alcohol here this is a mechanism that means here r m g x and this is the structure of the formaldehyde h c double bond o h this is formaldehyde and this is the grignard reagent r m g x this is delta minus this will attack on this carbon it become o minus and this minus and mg it form the complex o m g x and whatever reaction is take place in presence of diethyl ether here we get the r c h h here o m g x here till they are join o m g x and next step is the hydrolysis after hydrolysis we get the alcohol and here the alcohol is the primary alcohol that means the grignard reagents on treated with the formaldehyde we get the primary alcohol and this is a simple example this is the chlorobenzene now then mg in diethyl ether there is formation of grignard reagents next step attack on this carbonyl compound and here we get the ch2 o m g c l that means there is formation of the magnesium complex next step is hydrolysis after hydrolysis we get the form we get the alcohol that means the primary alcohol that means grignard reagents reacts with the formaldehyde we get the primary alcohol next we discuss formaldehyde gives primary alcohol now then aldehyde to give secondary alcohol you see the mechanism here this is the structure of aldehyde that we h c double bond o r dash plus r m g x in presence of diethyl ether again first step is same here this r minus it attack on this carbon okay this electrophilic in nature and this is nucleophile therefore this attack on this carbon it become o minus now the next step this o minus and mg they are joined to each other they form the complex and here we get the r c h r dash here o m g x next step is hydrolysis after hydrolysis we get the secondary alcohol that means the final product is the secondary alcohol that means simple grignard reagents reacts with the aldehyde we get the secondary alcohol formaldehyde gives primary alcohol then aldehyde gives secondary alcohol is the third ketone to give tertiary alcohol see the mechanism here this is a general mechanism this is the structure of the ketone r dash c double bond o r double dash and this r m g x that means the grignard reagent first step is this will be attack on this carbon it become o minus then they form the complex with the magnesium in presence of diethyl ether here we get the r c r single dash r double dash here o minus can it written here o minus or o m g x and next step is hydrolysis after hydrolysis here we get the tertiary alcohol that means the ketone on treatment with the r m g x that means grignard reagents we get the, the final product is the tertiary alcohol here the simple example here methyl chloride in presence of mg and diethyl ether the first step is there is formation of the grignard reagents and next step the carbonyl compound 
is Lunar reagents directly attack on this carbonyl compound and here we get the CH3 O M G C L. Next step is hydrolysis. We get the alcohol. Next, the ethyl formate uh, yields the secondary alcohol. That means ethyl formates on treatment with the here two moles of the methyl magnesium iodide. And the intermediate step is the formation of the complex. And next step is hydrolysis. We get the secondary alcohol. That means ethyl formate on treatment with the Grignard reagents. We get the secondary alcohol. While in case of ethyl acetate, ethyl acetate plus the methyl magnesium iodide, that is Grignard reagent. If we use the excess of the Grignard reagents, we get the tertiary alcohol. That means here ethyl alcohol, ethyl or ethyl acetate plus methyl magnesium iodide. We use the excess of Grignard reagents. Okay. The first step is the formation of this uh, complex and here after hydrolysis here we get the a tertiary alcohol that means the 2-methyl propane 2-ol. I repeat it here from the ethyl formate on treatment with the Grignard reagents we get the secondary alcohol while the ethyl acetate on treatment with the methyl magnesium iodide that means the Grignard reagents excess of Grignard reagents, we get the tertiary alcohol. Okay, thank you.